Hello there, this is how I've hacked Lego Marvel Studios minifigure collectible series 2. I've absolutely butchered that but we'll go with it and I think I know exactly which minifigures are in this packaging. So you've seen many different ways of trying to collect the minifigures. Last episode I went over three different ways. One was looking at the box order for the minifigures. The other one was trying to peer inside using a light technique that I'll cover in a second. And the other was completely random. And of course, the completely random one actually did better than the box order. As this one was meant to be Agatha, it turned out to be the female Hawkeye from the show. The random one was Mr. Knight, which was great because the one that I knew was Moon Knight. So actually, the random one isn't too bad, but... I have used the light technique. If you don't know, what it is, is you take a corner of the box and you try and open it as much as you can. You don't want to actually open the corner. I cannot stress this enough. Don't go around opening boxes. There are a few that had corners open in that, but this little corner here is plenty enough. Just peer through there, shine your phone in one of these two corners and just peer through there and you can see some of the pieces. So who do I think? Are in these two boxes well as you can see i haven't opened the boxes there's no tears in this one or the other one and you can see this one is folded so this is going to be the agatha that i've wanted for all the other five boxes i've opened now i have also ordered two off lego.com and are very interested to see who i get but agatha will be waited upon until i've opened this first one which should be hawkeye now, how do I know that this is Hawkeye and that's Agatha? Well, as I said, I looked through, I did the light trick, and this one has a black bow and arrow. As you can see, the female Hawkeyes is brown. So, how many other archers are there in this series that it could be? Well, it's got to be Hawkeye. I did also get a look at the hairpiece, which did sort of resemble Hawkeyes. I mean, there's not really any others in the series that it could be. Perhaps I could have mistaken, say, Wolverine's hairpiece, but even then... Wolverine doesn't have a black bow and arrow so I waste no more time and let's get opening this minifigure and see who's inside once more I am gonna say I would love that perforated edge just maybe not this series obviously they've already produced them but by January please Lego give us that perforated edge and the grand reveal we can see the minifigure is Hawkeye indeed well this is amazing as you know, if you saw my mech review, which is a slightly longer video, a few of my videos are longer, especially tomorrow's video, so definitely wait for that if you're interested. But I've got all of the Avengers now. I guess this is a later stage Hawkeye, but if I go collect my panel, you can see most of my Avengers figures. I mean, a few of them are in their mechs right now, so they are excused, and even a few of them are sort of parted out in a pile of minifigures, so... I'll definitely have a few more than this, but right at the front, you can see Black Widow, Captain America, Thor, and Iron Man, four of the original Avengers, and of course, I recently picked up the new Hulk mech, which has given me Hulk. You might wonder why his hair is different. Check out tomorrow's video for that, where I'll be upgrading all of my other mechs, which I do have four mechs to upgrade, so that's why it's going to be a long video, but I've got five of the original six, and now that I've got Hawkeye, I have the final one that I need which is really great it's great to get a Hawkeye minifigure and there's so much detail on this figure it is the older Clint so that is great but you do have sort of a I don't know if it's a younger face it could get away with being a younger face but a less injured face compared to his other one now because he's got that dual sided face there is no hearing aid I can't remember which side he wears it but I would have loved to have gotten a hearing aid on the side of this minifigure as he does wear a hearing aid in the show and it'd just be some great representation from Lego. Of course, you've got the hearing aids on the buildable minifigures now on their build a minifigure in store. And a few minifigures have certain accessories like that, but it had just been nice to have gotten a hearing aid on at least one of the sides. But I suppose when you switch that face around, it would have then appeared on the other side and perhaps... That is why Lego chose not to include it. So I'm going to go for the more younger styled head and just equip his bow on his left hand. I'm not quite sure if he's left handed, right handed. By the looks, actually, that might be the wrong hand, but it's good enough for now. And he even comes with an owl. 
I'm not quite sure what the importance of it was in the show. I'm pretty sure there was some joke about needing a mascot or something because obviously the other Hawkeye has Lucky the pizza dog. But I really can't remember it. I guess it wasn't significant enough to have stuck out in my brain. And overall, the Hawkeye minifigure looks really cool. Again, I cannot stress enough how good the printing is for this series. Now, unlike Moon Knight who, or even Mr. Knight with his white legs comes with that very minimalist detail just to show his legs and I guess make him unique to the character. Clint does come with completely black legs. It would have been nice to have seen a similar stripe or something, especially as they already had the model ready for Mr. Knight. But I guess his legs aren't exclusive to this set, but the arms definitely are. It's very cool the way they've done the arms as they've given him very, very slight printing just on the back of the arms. I don't know if the camera picks it up too well, but you can see there's some slight printing on the arms. Really wasn't necessary at all. And again, the printing on the front and even the back of the torso is really cool. I have to take off his arrows to show the back of the torso, but you can see they printed that and that's all covered by this quiver, I think it is, that houses arrows. Again, I'm not an archer, so I don't know for sure but it sounds right and of course you've got the owl here which would just be a great addition to my city i don't think i'll be keeping him with orkai as i don't remember the importance but of course now we're on to looking at the possible agatha minifigure just before we do i would like to take a look at all the other minifigures in this series as I'm pretty content if that is indeed Agatha, but there are some really great minifigures. And I'm sure you'll probably get to see another video if I do get some different minifigures with my Lego order. You can see the X-Men at the bottom with Beast and Storm. And even Echo has that new leg mould that we've only just recently seen in City. We also get the Werewolf from Werewolf by Night, which again, still haven't watched. I'm watching it this Halloween, don't worry, I'll watch it a few times this Halloween. We've got Agatha, hopefully I can show you soon. We've also got, I believe his name is Goliath, who we haven't seen yet, but should be showing up in Season 2 of What If, with that little Ant-Man micro figure, which would be really awesome to get. Of course, the two Hawkeyes, and maybe the most disappointing of them all, She-Hulk. Nothing to do with She-Hulk herself, the show was amazing, but She-Hulk is a lot bigger than the other characters, and... They're all the same height, even Agatha's the same height, it uses that new dress piece which is one plate shorter than the old one, making her the same height as all the other minifigures with legs. But with Avatar using the old woody legs, I think I have a figure somewhere. Here we are, this is the old woody minifigure that they've definitely improved the head on the more recent one, but the woody minifigure was special as it comes with what was known as woody arms and legs, now they're just long arms and long legs as they've been used in other themes such as the avatar wave. To give minifigures that extra height compared to their normal size legs, it just gives them like an extra brick of height which again would have been nice to see in Star Wars for Ned B as that droid was definitely a lot taller than the other cast. And I think here is another situation where we should have seen it for She-Hulk. She could have had the longer legs, the longer arms, and perhaps they wouldn't have been able to print them. But even if they just gave us dual molded arms, I wouldn't have minded seeing that. And that would have made that figure really valuable to get. As it just represents her better using the new longer arms and legs. But there's my thoughts on it. And now let's take a look at, hopefully, Agatha. So, like with Hawkeye, where I saw the bow, I saw the book element in here. Originally, I saw the 1x2 tile and had to shake it about as I had no idea which minifigure included the 1x2 tile. But after shaking it around, I saw the book element. Again, it's not been open. I've just peered through the gap. So let's take a look at who we've got. And the last grand reveal we do have. Yes, we do have Agatha Harkness from... Again, I can't remember the show's name. It's Coven of Chaos or House of Agatha or it's something like that. However, this is the minifigure I wanted and I'm a bit afraid to say I didn't even want Agatha, but I'll show you in a minute what I'm going to do with this minifigure or perhaps I'll even leave it for another video as the hairpiece is currently on its way from Lego. I think it's coming from Poland, not Denmark, so it should be here a lot sooner than the rest of my order, but... 
For now, perhaps Agatha has earned her place on the shelf. And what is really cool is these pieces, which I've seen in trans blue. I've also seen in white for like webs for Spider-Man. And I think Star Wars Force users should include them as they look like a little force push, I guess, and can definitely be used to knock over different objects. And it'd be really cool to see a force user with the so Lego. Can we have some of these over in Star Wars, please? And of course, this is the new look of Agatha. We haven't seen this yet. I'm not sure if she's wearing the same thing when she shows up in WandaVision, but you can see she's got her winky face from Agatha all along, which I definitely feel like we'll be getting more of that sort of Agatha in her own show. And then we've also got the usual face, which just looks like a normal minifigure. I don't think there's really anything special for it other than the exclusive printing which comes in this minifigure series. And she does also have the book of the Dark Hold, I think it was called, which has some monster printed inside again, some exclusive printing. It's only on the front of the book, but you probably won't be seeing the back of the book when it's held in Agatha's hand. And the minifigure itself does look pretty cool. It does also include, quite funnily, one of these action pose pieces, which I'm not quite sure how they expect us to stand up Agatha on, because if you stand her up like that, she's just going to be leaning forward. And if I can try and level it with the camera, you can sort of see what I mean. <laughs> she's just flying forward. So I don't really know. Perhaps we could include it so she's on her side and rather leaning away than leaning over something again it just looks really odd i really don't think i'll be using this but it's cool to have another one as it means i can stand up some of my other minifigures on the base plate and lego did go through a phase of including images on their website of all their minifigures on these sort of three by three dish pieces so i think i've forgotten the cape again i keep doing that but it'd be really interesting to get some base plates with actual sets including these pose pieces and even if they don't include a base plate like this, just include a little stud somewhere on the build that you can have these and set it up for display rather than just standing the minifigures around. And I'm not quite sure why I keep forgetting the cape pieces, but again, this might be an exclusive cape. It's a bit different to the ones we saw like in SpongeBob with just the one hole. It's got this little indent in first, which perhaps gives it a better look than just flowing out at the shoulders. But again, I haven't seen this colour before, I haven't even seen the shape of this cape, so it might be a look into what future capes like this look like with the single stud. I think Thor's is one of the older style capes, so if I pop off his head, you can see what I mean about the old capes. You can see it's just very well rounded, whereas Agatha's comes in at the two sides. So it'd be definitely interesting to see what new capes we get. And if we see more of it, or if they've just created this for Agatha to give it a better look of the cape, coming more off her dress than off her shoulders. But the minifigure itself is really cool, and it's somewhat of a shame that I will be using this for a different character, and it will be crossing over into Star Wars. Perhaps I have to find another one, but hopefully, now that I know that that light trick is pretty effective, I mean, I'm free for free in Moon Knight, in Agatha and in Hawkeye so I'm pretty sure I've hacked the series now if that doesn't prove it then I don't know what will hopefully you can go out and try this yourself again it's a bit odd you do get some funny looks when you're in store and you're trying to just peer through it your phone's flashing through it and of course do be sure not to break apart any of the boxes as if you do break it or tear it at a corner or saying enough to get a brick out then it does mean they'll probably have to charge you for it. But the staff in store were very nice. One of them was really inquisitive to how I was able to do it and went back to tell her son after her shift, I'm sure. But as you can see, these are the two minifigures I predicted. These are the two minifigures I got. So the series is hacked. And if you want to try this out, let me know down in the comments if you're able to successfully find what minifigures you're looking for. But... That is all for this video. If you liked the video, please be sure to drop a like and it is very greatly appreciated as well as subscribing if you haven't already. And as always, may the bricks be with you.